Mm. Welcome back, friends. It's Anders. Today we are making two cocktails, the Clover Club and the Pink Lady. Two classic gin cocktails in the sour style that are extremely similar. And I think a lot of people get these confused. I'm one of them. Whenever somebody orders one from me, I always have to stop and think, which one's which? Because there's really only one component that differentiates these two. So I'm gonna do a side by side and find out once and for all which one's better. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes. And let's make the Clover Club and the Pink Lady. Fight. The first of these two cocktails to arrive on the scene was the Clover Club. In 1908, it was created in a gentleman's club inside of the Bellevue Stratford Hotel, which was this elegant hotel in Philadelphia. The name of the club was the Clover Club, if you couldn't figure that out. Many will say that this drink has to be made with raspberry syrup, but the truth is the original recipe called for grenadine. It wasn't until about 1917 that you start seeing substitutions with the raspberry syrup. I'm using raspberry syrup because I have it, but if you don't have that and you have grenadine, go ahead and use that. As for the Pink Lady, its origins are a little bit cloudier, but you see first print in 1913 in Straub's Manual of Mixed Drinks. And some people say it's named after Hazel Dawn, who was an actress in the hit Broadway musical, The Pink Lady. But I don't know, maybe. What I do know is that the drink fell out of fashion, and in recent years, it's made a comeback. And I'm happy about that because it's great. As for tools, I've got my jigger, Hawthorne strainer, fine mesh strainer, a bar spoon, and then two shaking tins because I'm gonna make these simultaneously. As far as garnish, I'm gonna use a cocktail cherry and a raspberry. Also get your glassware chilled at this time because cold is better. Now the ingredients, and I'm gonna pull out all of the ingredients for both cocktails. So this is gonna seem like a lot, but I'll break it down and it'll be very easy. For these cocktails, I'm gonna need gin, applejack, lemon juice, grenadine, raspberry syrup, and two eggs. The gin I'm using is Broker's London Dry Gin, and for the Applejack, I'm using Laird's Straight Apple Brandy. It looks like a lot, but these are two cocktails I'm dealing with. I've got spirit, citrus, sugar, and egg. If you wanna go eggless, go ahead and use aquafaba, it'll be very good, or no egg at all. For the syrups, I've got grenadine and raspberry syrup. I'm using the grenadine for the Pink Lady. That's very traditional, that's what gives it its pink color, even though my homemade grenadine isn't bright pink and the raspberry syrups for the Clover Club. Clover Club, Pink Lady. Both cocktails are gonna use lemon juice. Easy. And spirits. Both of these cocktails are gonna use gin, specifically a London Dry Gin, because a London Dry Gin has a bigger, drier flavor that will hold up to the citrus, the sugars, and the egg white. Other gins can be a little bit more mild and easygoing, but the Broker's London Dry is gonna be really nice in this cocktail. As for the Applejack, I'm using this in the Pink Lady. Technically, it's a straight apple brandy, but that's what Applejack used to be. In the late 60s, they started cutting Applejack with neutral grain spirits like vodka because they were trying to make a lighter spirit. But at the time the Pink Lady came to be, this is what they were using. So that's what I'm gonna use. Let's build. Okay, I'm gonna start by cracking the egg and separating the egg white and putting an egg white into each tin. For the Clover Club, we're gonna want an ounce and a half of gin, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, and half an ounce of your raspberry syrup. Now we can make the Pink Lady. We'll take an ounce and a half of gin. Oops. This little hat makes it top heavy. If you get brokers, you get a little bowler's cap. Adorable. An ounce and a half of gin. Half an ounce of Applejack. I'm gonna go three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. The same as the Clover Club. And half an ounce of grenadine. All right, clean up. Dry shake, 
So we want to shake this without ice to emulsify that egg white. Excuse me while I do this. Now we can add ice and shake. Shake until it's good and cold. Grab your chilled glassware and double strain into the cocktail glass. Patience. And this one's the Clover Club. I have to tell myself so I remember that. Now the Pink Lady. Garnish. I'm going to do a cocktail cherry on the Pink Lady and a raspberry on the Clover Club. So get your cocktail cherry and the raspberry. Side by side. There they are. The Clover Club and the Pink Lady. I will say first looking at them, the Clover Club is more pink, but that's just because of the syrup. I'm going to start with the Clover Club. Really nice. The raspberry is actually pretty subtle. You get the gin. Now the pink lady. Oh wow. I don't want to say anything. Oz, would you like to try this? Yeah. Start with the this one here, the Clover Club. Hmm. Fascinating. Okay. This is the one. The Pink Lady. The Pink Lady, just the little addition of the Applejack, I think makes a world of difference. Also, you're doing grenadine compared to the raspberry syrup, so that might just be, you know, your preference. There's just more going on with the Pink Lady. Just take this with me then. <laughs> all right, see you later. Yeah. The winner is all of us, because they're great cocktails. Pink Lady wins. May not be pink, but that thing is good. As far as beauty, points go to the Clover Club. It's a prettier cocktail. The Pink Lady, the one that I made, kind of looks like some weird oat milk. That's okay, it tastes delicious. If you like this video, hit that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't. It's right below, right below the video there. Just go ahead and click that. And hit the notification bell if you want to be notified the next time a video comes out. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye everyone.